To begin this year's graduation ceremony, we'll start with our land acknowledgement. Trillium Lakelands District School Board acknowledges that these lands and waters are the traditional homeland of the Ojibwe Nation and the Huron-Wendat Nation, and now includes communities from the Mohawk Nation, the Potawatomi Nation, and the Métis Nation of Ontario. We acknowledge their stewardship throughout the ages. It is wonderful to be part of the celebration as we congratulate the graduates of Scott Young. You're on a new path of your educational journey. New school, new teachers, new friends, new courses, new opportunities, all very exciting. Graduates, you've learned and experienced so much, especially in this last year. I hope the pandemic disruption to our everyday living has made you stronger and more resilient. Use it to help build a better global community because we are counting on you. Speak up because we are listening. I know that you join me in thanking Mr. Ellis and all the staff of Scott Young that made this a very special occasion. It has been a challenge to navigate through these times and it has not gone unnoticed. Thank you. Finally, a very heartfelt Congratulations, graduates. We wish you much happiness, health, and opportunities. Welcome parents, staff, graduates, and anyone scrolling through YouTube that received this as a suggestion. It is my honor to begin Scott Young Public Schools 2021 grade eight graduation. Last year, I said, if we have to do a virtual grad again, give me a kick. Oh, how I wish I could take back those words. Graduates, thank you for all your hard work, not only this year, but all the years you've been at Scott Young. When you look back at your time with us, focus on the last with friends, the games you played at recess, the sports teams and clubs you were a part of, box Star Wars references, dart dollars, Madame Evans' French wraps, and even Miss Nielsen's words of the day. But don't forget all the sacrifices you've made over the past year. The resilience you have shown and the character you developed during the pandemic are two things you'll have with you for the rest of your life. As things are improving and life gets back to normal, remember that you can and have overcome so much. I'm very proud of all of you, and I know you are ready for literally anything that life throws your way. In the words of Simon Sinek, working hard for something we don't care about is called stress. Working hard for something we love is called passion. Find your passion, Terriers. Congratulations, Addison. Congratulations, Alicia. Congratulations, Alyssa. Congratulations, Anna. Congratulations, Ashley. Congratulations, Ashton. Congratulations, Austin. Congratulations, Avery. Congratulations, Beacon.
Congratulations, Kane. Congratulations, Caprice. Congratulations, Chloe. Congratulations, Clayton. Congratulations, Cole. Congratulations, Corey. Congratulations, Aaron. Congratulations, Gracie. Congratulations, Hannah Marie. Congratulations, Isabella. Congratulations, Jace. Congratulations, Jacob. Congratulations, Jarrett. Congratulations, Julian. Congratulations, Lane. Congratulations, Landon. Congratulations, Larissa. Congratulations, Lauren. Congratulations, Liam. Congratulations, Logan. Congratulations, Lila. Congratulations, Marissa. Congratulations, Matthew. Congratulations, Megan. Congratulations, MJ.
Congratulations, Noah. Congratulations, Olivia. Congratulations, Riley. Congratulations, Skyla. Congratulations, Sophie. Congratulations, Stephen. Congratulations, Talon. Congratulations, Tamara. Congratulations, William. Congratulations, Zachary. Congratulations, Zoe. Honor roll is given to those who achieved 80% and above in all subjects for both terms. Congratulations to the following students. The English award is given to students in each of our grade eight homerooms. Both students contributed positively in class, maintained a minimum of an AD average the entire year. They effectively speak, read, and write in a variety of forms. They both work well in any group situations. This year's recipients are Lane and Chloe. The math award is given to a student in each of the grade eight homerooms. Both students contribute positively in class, maintain a minimum of an 80 average the entire year, and they work well in any group situation. This year's recipients are Stephen and Liam. The Geography Award is given to a student who contributes positively in class, maintains an 80 average the entire year, demonstrates a keen interest around the impact of humans in their environment. This year's award goes to Tamara. The History Award is given to a student who contributes positively in class, maintains an 80 average for the entire year, and demonstrates a keen interest in history. This year's recipient is Sophie. The Science Award is given to a student who contributes positively in class, maintains an 80% average for the entire year. This year's winner is Cole. The Physical and Health Education Award is given to a student who contributes positively in class, maintains a minimum of an 80 average the entire year, maintains a positive attitude towards fitness and healthy lifestyle habits, is mindful of personal safety and the safety of others while playing sports. This year's winner is Megan. The Music Award is given to a student who has contributed positively in class, has reached a high level of musical skill, demonstrated a great potential to pursue music in some future capacity. This year's winner is Hannah Marie. The Art Award is given to a student who has contributed positively in class, has reached a high level of artistic skills, and demonstrates great potential to pursue art in a future capacity. This year's winner is Alicia.
Bonjour les élèves. I'm presenting the French award this year to a student that excelled in all areas, speaking, reading, writing, and listening. So I'm very honored to present this year's French award to Avery. Felicitations, Avery. Scott Young Technology Award is awarded to a student who demonstrates knowledge and ingenuity throughout all sorts of technology. This student troubleshoots computer issues, does word working, woodworking in his spare time, and even decided to show us step by step how to build a PC for his passion project. Your technology skills are sure to take you far. Keep tinkering. Congratulations, Jared. The William Kett Bursary Award is presented to a student who has good communication skills, who demonstrates good manners and is very polite, who's self-confident, has strong academics, good work habits, displays excellent citizenship in their everyday life. This award goes to a student who demonstrates all of these wonderful characteristics and many more. Congratulations, Stephen. The Human Spirit Award is given each year at Scott Young to the student who best exemplifies someone showing great spirit. When we think of great human spirit, we're thinking of someone who is persevering through hard things, who works to the end of a goal, and really tries their best in all aspects of their life. Human spirit can also be shown by someone who not only works hard academically to the best of their ability, but someone who has had to overcome so much in their personal life. This year, we would like to recognize Addison as someone who shows a great amount of human spirit. Congratulations, buddy. We are so proud of you. The award for academic improvement goes to a student who has shown steady growth throughout the entire year. This particular student has shown growth in both their work habits as well as their learning skills. Consistently, Whenever she receives feedback, she goes back and adds to her work and resubmits whether the marks are going to improve or not. Keep reaching for the stars. Congratulations, MJ. The OPC Student Leadership Award is given each year on behalf of the Ontario Principals Council to a grade eight student who embodies leadership. It is with great pleasure that I announce this year's recipient Tamara. Tamara, thank you for your, being a leader amongst your peers. You have the courage to speak out for what is right and the compassion to listen to the perspectives of others. Thank you for your leadership. The highest academic achievement award is given to a student who contributed positively in class and achieved the highest average mark in every subject in both terms. Congratulations to this year's winner, Chloe. The following students receive a commencement award for being a finalist for one of our other grad awards. And now it's time for the presentation of the valedictorian. Every year, graduates and staff select a valedictorian to speak on behalf of the graduating class. This year's valedictorian is well-deserving of the honor. Thank you for being Scott Young Public Schools 2021 valedictorian, Megan. These are obviously not the ideal circumstances we would have liked for our grad. I know I'd rather be in the gym face-to-face -face with all of you, with jitters of excitement, nervousness, and a touch of sadness for high school, sitting with all our families, waiting for awards, and the dance following the ceremony. But COVID-19 has prevented us from having these simple things. I remember when we first came to this school, it felt so massive, but that was probably because we were all so small. Now, five years later, we're leaving again, going off to even bigger schools. Just try not to get lost in them. In the years to come, we all face challenges, whether it's social, academic, or professional, our experiences from this past year and a half will help us adapt to them. We've been bouncing back and forth between online and in-school classes, getting stuck in our homes for months at a time with our families. And let me tell you, that's not always fun, especially when you have an annoying older sister and a smelly older brother, but they kept me entertained. 
Despite this, we've still been able to strengthen relationships, make new friends, and long-lasting memories. Some of my favorites from this year have been the events of Halloween and the day Buck turned us into Marvel geeks for an assignment. By the way, Liam, Doctor Strange is not the most powerful Avenger. Other favorites from classmates are going on walks on the trail, climbing Jack White, and playing on a snow hill in the winter, watching everyone slip and fall. We've gone to medieval times and ate food with our fingers. We went to Wanakita and tipped kayaks and canoes. We've gone to year yearly and went on a night hike and played games. We've even gone to history museums and still had fun. Not sure how that happened. We went to Ripley's Aquarium and saw sharks and saw sharks and stingrays. Our school has provided us with so many opportunities like basketball, soccer, volleyball, track and field, cross country, skipping, band, pow pack, chess, and battle of the books. From these, we learned a variety of skills like teamwork, compromise, trust, and the value of working with others while still having a good time. When I went to the school the other day to pick up my sign, I just looked around and I could remember so many good memories. There's a little quote I'd like to share with you that reminds me of this feeling. You get a strange feeling when you're about to leave a place, like you'll not only miss the people you love, but you'll miss the person you are now at this time and place, because you'll never be this way ever again. Avar Nafisi. Thank you to Mr. Ellis and Ms. Pilgrim for their leadership and ability to joke around with students. Thank you to Ms. Seidel for always bandaging us up and greeting us with a beautiful smile. Thank you to Parent Council for raising money and making us those signs and grad composite photos. Thank you to all the teachers we've had in the past for teaching us about math and our life skills. A special thank you to Buck for teaching us about Star Wars and always taking the extra time to make sure his students were okay. And Ms. Nielsen for being understanding of students, making them feel welcome and included. Thank you to the parents and families of the graduates for going back to grade eight this year to help us and giving us the love and support we need to be successful, but most importantly, for getting us out of bed in time for school. Now, a huge thank you to my fellow graduates, who when we were met, we were strangers, but are now my second family. These friendships we've made may not last a lifetime like we hope, but the memories we've made will, and that's what counts. We are all strong-willed, and I can't wait to see how we change the world. Good luck, Terriers.
Thank you so much to all the staff who made this virtual graduation ceremony possible. Also, a huge thank you for the support of Parent Council. Thank you for purchasing lawn signs for each graduate, grad awards, and personalized class composite photos. Thank you, Trustee Saunders, for your continued support of the school and taking time to contribute to the virtual graduation. Mrs. Dart, Mr. Buckingham, Mrs. Nielsen, Mrs. Walker, and Madame Evans, thank you for teaching these graduates in their crucial grade eight year. A special thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Dart for all their effort composing and editing this virtual graduation. Mrs. Eagle for decorating our photo and video shoots. Mrs. Carney for making the grad slideshow and Mrs. Seidel for supporting all aspects of the graduation. Thank you to parents for all their support of the school and our graduates. The biggest thank you of all goes to our graduates. Thank you for your resilience, hard work, and kindness. Go forward knowing no matter your path or bumps on the trail, you'll always be headed in the right direction if you follow your heart.